Hello, everybody, and hi, and welcome. Hopefully, you can hear and see me. Hi, Abby Russell. Hello, Vinny Caravella. How are you today? I'm doing very well. My stomach feels great. You know, mine feels fantastic also. The first lie yeah. of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell you when the second one is. You well, got to yeah, guess. You, you got to guess. I did the first one's for free. No, my stomach wasn't feeling super great. I do have my tea in front of me. Also, I noticed I'm wearing a different pair of glasses today. And boy, this there's like this shadow that just comes right across oh. my eyes. You kind of see it? Like Good. Rrr. You got like a nice noir thing going. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Just I need yeah, to Yeah, like you're it looking so. through um it's blinds, like Venetian blinds. blinds. Yeah. There you uh, go. Well, we're going to go play some uh, Tex Murphy's Under a Killing Moon. Now, this is not the first Tex Murphy game, nor is it, I think, even the second Tex Murphy game, but it is the FNV Tex Murphy game, and that's what Perfect. matters. The second thing that matters is I think I've done this already, but I think I also didn't like it, and I want to get back here. People are always recommending Tex Murphy games for me, and I want to give it another shot. And who better to give it another shot with than Abby Russell? Me, I was going to wear a trench coat and I forgot. So imagine I have a big popped collar, yeah. a nice fedora, which I don't yeah. have, but imagine I was going to wear a cowboy hat because I do have that. I was going to wear a trench coat too, but uh, I'm legally not allowed anymore. That's a good joke. That's probably, <laughs> that's, that's probably a bad joke. I All like right. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's boot it up. Uh, that's the second, <laughs> that's the second lie of the stream. Uh, I have changed the DPI on my mouse. I am going to hit play on the game here. I'm playing with uh, GOG on GOG on good old games. Oh, nice. That's the version I have. What's yeah, I mean. Yeah. What's the what? Who? Per integral DPI. D DPI, uh, 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 d the pixels per inch, uh, d uh, oh, the data right. per, per inch. Uh, what is it? Dix dixels per inch. <laughs> nice. Dix pixels per inch. Uh, <laughs> all right. I wish or had a trench coat. We're, we're going to go and do this. There we go. I have a couple of text guides pulled up just in case. Thank you. Because Good. Yeah. We'll have no problem. Uh, let me see. I might be cutting you off a little here, Abby. Make sure your voice is coming in. Rude to settle. I'm going to adjust the game. I can. <laughs> no, let me see. Talk normally. One, two, three. Hello, I'm a uh, detective. Cowboy detective? Are, are I'm you okay? Okay. Okay, great. Yeah. People let me know if uh, the audio gets funny. And by funny, I mean hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> now, this is a good looking screen. I know. I'm. It's always interesting. I don't know. I'm Whoa. used to the Nancy Drew games, which have a similar kind of thing. But this feels like is text like a does he run a like soundboard? Like what is the deal <laughs> with it? You know what He's, I mean? Like yeah. why did it feel this way? This was a really. Uh, I feel like this was like a. Um, I ma I made interfaces that look like this, brushed metal in Photoshop in like the '90s and stuff like that. Just um, the vibe. That's kind of the vibe. Like you could do it. Textures became a cool thing. So look at the DPS yeah. on this mouse or uh, um, DPI on this mouse. This is me moving across the screen. Now I have to pick up the mouse and move it again. <laughs> move it again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So we're gonna start a new game. And the reason I did that is uh, I remembered and people reminded me that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go easy, please. Yeah, uh, player name is easy. That's not a good player name. It's sleazy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> with, an, with an S, with an S. Sleasy, sleasy. Um. So they found it again, have they? I thought we'd taken care of it. I don't know what's going on. The uh, forces of evil are persistent, sir. I'm getting too old for this. Wait, who have we got lined up to deal with this problem? Is that really him, uh, Murphy, sir. Oh no, not Wait, Murphy. Is that I'm afraid so, sir? What about Spade or Mom? World screens, motherfucking wide, uh, uh, doing a Tex Isn't Murphy game? Isn't anyone else? James Earl Jones. Oh, it's James Earl Jones. Okay. Well, I suppose we have to make do. With the get. Knowing Murphy, nah, he's going easy. to need okay. a <laughs> He's got lot. CNN money. Oh, he's James Earl Jones. Yeah. I'll check the archives and get CNN back. CNN money? I don't think I know what James Earl Jones does. James Earl Jones uh, does Darth Vader, and he does, uh, this is CNN. 
Oh, I didn't know that. That's fun. I don't know if he's still going. Knew about Darth Vader. I'm pretty sure we're playing uh, Tex Murphy. <laughs> I do. This is a history lesson. The heart of German opposition and sent remnants of the Führer's troops scurrying into the dark reaches of the Black Forest. The Germans have vowed to fight to the last man in their quest for world domination. But their days are numbered, with Adolf Hitler dead and the once dreaded SS disbanded. The Allies have exposed the workings of the Nazi war machine and found it festering with ancient blood I get, I... whose rituals and ceremonies are too astonishing and barbaric to detain. Okay. Allied forces will not rest <laughs> until the last bless you. member has been revealed. Did you sneeze or you just laugh? Uh, no, that was a laugh, but okay, thank you. But, but, but bless you in general. Thank you so much. Yeah. No pestilence has ever been so fatal or so hideous. Blood was its avatar and its seal. The redness and horror of blood. Was this the era where everyone wanted to do like a war against Nazis thing? That was every like, era. This... I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's. Well, I don't know. I've been around this era many, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I... Everybody, everybody wants to do it. It's just. You know. <laughs> I just know, like, it. I didn't know that Indiana Jones was anti-Nazi. It was like, the whole thing is, it's like, they're fighting Nazis. Oh, they're fighting you know? all the Nazis. Except, I think, in Temple of Dune, which is before the Nazis. Do you know okay. Temple of Dune is a prequel? Comes before I have Raiders? seen only the latest movie, which was very bad. With Dial of Destiny? Yes. That's the only Indiana Jones you've ever seen? That's the only one I've seen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I like to really start with the worst one. Although I will say I started the very first one and found it dull. Wow, Sue no. me. All right. I see you. We'll consider you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Okay, great. Um, I think Crystal Skull is is pretty bad. I did not see Dial of Destiny. Brian it's Keith. Also these uh, boring. these um. Uh... Oh, Margot Kidder. Who's that? That's uh, a Lois, Lois Lane. Lois oh. Lane. Lois Lane. Most Russell lame. means that's me. Oh, <laughs> Only the voice. We it's all we can afford. Okay. I love this sultry sax over the moon. I know. Okay, right, Chris Jones is here. Uh, I apologize if I call these games uh, Tex Avery uh, often, uh, but I. I feel like in my head, oh my gosh, Cybercar. New San Francisco sparkles like really a doing everything here. Zirconia, yeah. An island of hollow Looks like the car from by a red sea of radiation. Last Starfighter. Five million souls like drowning in a Tesla Cyber truck. <laughs> yeah. Some lucky yeah. people have That's a cool. natural immunity to genetic. I've been seeing those things around. <gasps> it's terrifying. I have not. Of them. Most of them live in the new city, but I don't. I live among the unlucky souls, the mutants and the destitute, and the wreckage of old San Francisco. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a private detective. Or at least I used to be. Since my marriage hit the rocks, I haven't done much of anything. I get I it, buddy. Take some time. First time in a week, but all I ended up doing was spending the last of my money on a bottle of cheap bourbon. Now it's past midnight, and I'm staring out of the window of my office on the second floor of the Ritz Hotel. Just like me, the Ritz used to be something. Now it's just another grimy building in a rundown part of town. Why is his office in a hotel? Bourbon. Because he's a. Uh... My God, Murphy, you look like hell. Really hit bottom, didn't you? Man. <laughs> oh, I usually don't look this bad. I forgot to take my Geritol this morning. So, you want a drink? I saved my first one to have with you. No, thanks. I've been dry for eight years now. Yeah, one morning I just looked in the mirror and decided I needed to make a few. <sighs> I wish I were in an F and B game in the nineties. Quit smoking, quit drinking. Well, I can't no, help you with the nineties part, but we can be in an yeah, F and B game. I know, but then we'd be like copying nice something, you know? Island with a tribe of beautiful young women. Okay, interesting. Well, no, I'd still do it, but <laughs> I guess that means the end of the world must be around fresh. the corner yeah. because you to are steal the someone detective. Else's story. I can't imagine you doing anything else, especially not running around an island with a bunch of nubile women in a loincloth. No, I can imagine it. I've been thinking about it for years now. Yeah. 
You know how it is? Lonely. Underappreciated. Yeah. Dangerous. Uh, I haven't had a decent night's sleep in 38 years. I tell you, what I'm the doctor? this right now, and that's going to be my last one. Oh. Enough about me. How about you, Tex? How's life treating you? Bad as it looks? <laughs> it's got a sick chair. Well, it depends. What day is it anyway today? Saturday? Well, Saturdays aren't too bad. It's normally <laughs> Thursday by the time I get really suicidal. Oh, Tex. <laughs> I know. So what is it you wanted? Just come by to sprinkle a little salt into the uh, open wounds of my pathetic life? No, 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 Tex, you got me all wrong. <laughs> Yeah, just because this, is about, uh, this could be me. Got me suspended in human Vinny, game. let's make it happen. I think you should uh, play every character uh, if you are if one, you my one man F and B game. But yes, that's all in the past. See, I quit you and a bunch of wigs. Mm -hmm. ah, like I said, I'll be leaving soon, and I didn't want to go with any loose ends dangling there to bother me in my golden years. <sighs> <laughs> hey, don't worry about me. When you tossed me out of the agency, it was the best thing that ever happened. Digging through dumpsters and sleeping in abandoned speeders? You helped me learn a great lesson. Because no matter how bad things are, they can always get worse. Damn. So what happened to you? I heard you were doing pretty well there for a while. Then I held a job on that Martian memorandum case. That's another What's your game. Problem? You want to oh, can't live with success? That makes sense. Huh? Well, I can live with it. I'm just afraid of commitment. Now you tell me something. Why wouldn't you talk to me 15 years ago? I was a stupid kid back then. Could have tried to understand why I told the ethics board what I did. I mean, I understand now that I was out of line and I made a mistake, but why'd you cut me off like that? Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. A precious commodity to people like me and you. Now listen, before I go, I came here with a warning. I heard your name mentioned in connection with a case that I'm working on, and you stay out of it. If you don't, somebody's going to find you floating in the bay with a hole in your head, and I don't need any more strain on my conscience. You know, frankly, I'm pretty insulted, because I'm a pretty damn good detective, and I can take care of myself, thank you. You haven't showered in a week, sir. Yeah. We. No! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be like that, Just huh? Remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, paints a picture of what we're gonna be dealing with here. <laughs> okay. My way. Don't. <laughs> I love that his cigarette turned yeah. into confetti. That's what happens. <sighs> um. It. The best... Another title sequence? <laughs> we just had like 20 minutes of title sequences. In case you forgot who made this game. Ew. Oh, gross. cuffing, cuffing up Flam. Yeah. Flam have two M's? I don't know. I don't like it. I maybe it's, it's a lady's name. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's like PH. Uh, with like a so last night, after 15 years, the Colonel walked into my I love that it's real people and then these like 3D environments. So maybe good. Take a good hard look yeah, at and they're really going for it with these maybe camera I angles. Maybe I have hit bottom and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. Pretty good. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. Okay. Okay, so here oh, we go. Oh, hell yeah. Back yeah. to the analog. Oh, listen to this music. So uh, let me say, the thing I love about old FMB games is that there was an excitement and a and a, um, a, a, a thing in the air to get like actors and stuff. Like this is going to be the next thing in cinema. Like you should come on board and do these FMB games. People are like, my agent said I should do it. So you get all these actors and people that are in these FMB games who have no idea what a computer game even is, and like they're just <laughs> acting and doing it. That's that's what I love about it. Like you either get actors that are way above their pay grade, or you get people that are like, I can't get a job. My my agent said we should do this thing. That does rock. The Scotch guard yes. that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything, and I ought to know. I masturbate oh, on that okay, thing all then. the time. Yeah. That's, oh uh, God. 
<laughs> I'm horny for tears. My <laughs> wife left me. <laughs> Can't see why. The Scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering okay. service put on Spain's bar. Uh, I was going to look and see. Is there? This menu looks funky. Can I get rid of this? We. Um, the music mix seems loud. Look at this menu. Jesus. Wow. It's uh, like a Dark Souls game. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, MIDI music device. Got it. Sound blaster device. Okay. I guess it would be the MIDI music we'll take down a little bit. Maybe down to like 80. We'll try that. Yeah. The Scotch guard that that's that's supposed yeah, to I like that mix. put on my office chairs. We'll I like that. All right. So here's where it gets funky. Okay. Now, I think it's you push space bar and then oh. you have mouse control and you <laughs> slide the mouse forward to move. Oh, and, that feels bad. That's, and then you slide the do. mouse backwards no, to move. Oh, no one wants this. Yeah, and then that's why I put the walk speed to super slow and I also put the DPI down on my mouse to 300. Uh, <laughs> so ho hopefully that's... Uh, and then you push you space wanna... bar to go back into this. And then you can use your the, stomach hurts. And then you can use the up and down arrows to look around oh like this. Oh no. Yeah, there's um so we'll get we'll get we'll get through this. Is this oh, I remember at Giant Bomb, we played some death. game. It like tore the team apart because there was like <laughs> puzzle. There was like some like puzzle that like was really sensitive. This is where my I'm trying to remember what game it was. Die. But it was like we were all like, we can do the puzzle, it's not that hard, and then it was really hard. At East? Uh, that we did at East? Yeah. It wasn't, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Dan's Mario thing. We had <laughs> no, to the start. I okay. just remember trying the puzzle, or it was like you were doing it, and then I was like, you do this, you do that, and you're like, you give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> I snapped at you. I it love was, it. Tensions were high, okay? Uh -huh. The puzzle was hard. <laughs> It was like me, one of those just, pixel frame perfect things. Just give me the mouse. You take the damn mouse. That hutch holds a life yeah, exactly. worth of knickknacks, patty wax, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. All right. There is a hint system here. This piece of art is called Two Whales on a Fender. I also have a walkthrough. Okay. For help. There was like foot uh, feet on the floor. There Can were you, like, footprints on the floor, yeah. I'm going to look at this computer that. first. Is that his computer? Primelink computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's personal files. Okay. I was going to say, uh, music still feels overpowering. Yeah. There, it's off now. Let's hope it's MIDI. Can I test it? <laughs> It really doesn't seem to be going down that much. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, there's digital sound device. I assume that's, that's going to be for the voice. I'm, I'm really hoping. But yeah. All right. All right. Oh, that sounds mellower. Look at that. Wow, look at that switch. Ooh, this is all too fast. Crime what is it about San Francisco that makes people want to do a future noir? I don't know. Am I looking for myself? Here we go. Close your eyes, Abby. <laughs> 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 I see nothing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. A hundred plus matches. Okay, I look. Eye color, bald. <laughs> we have two eyes. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm B negative. I think I'm the universal like giver, but not receiver. Are you an O? I think I might be. Uh, I don't have any of those. I don't have any of those. Uh, clearly, we're not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> uh, my third leg. Wow. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> This one really isn't art. It's a placemat from Taco Bob's. Okay. Alrighty. So the footprint. Wahoo! Look at those feet. Oh, so, goodness gracious. He's already drunk. Yeah. 
The office was actually a dance studio before I moved in, and Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition. Okay. There was garbage on the floor too. Somebody mentioned in the uh, in the chat was it a Nancy Drew stream? And I do remember That's there was like a Sudoku puzzle or something PI. where. I oh like my god! Like yes, <laughs> I do. Remember. It was like the final puzzle, and it took twenty minutes. <laughs> I do remember, but I remember it was like Alex and you and Alex, and I was in the control room. I don't remember. Could have been. I Could've... I remember that it was like. <laughs> so hard it took tw it was like a scary like tense sequence and then it's like do 20 oh minutes boy, of like man. a paper puzzle <laughs> yeah it's like okay and like if you got one thing wrong it was so hard to like get back oh boy, to it man. yes oh boy surgery gift certificate you can yeah beep boop beep can you look at him before Okay. Um, Abby, to get a sense of the dusty credenza, what we're, what this game is uh, expecting of us, what's the first the thing this guide says we should do? The first thing after Mac leaves, look around the office, look at a photo on the desk, walk to the back of the desk, open bottom left drawer, and get pen. Okay, it's gonna be it one of these. Seems to be a lot of this first stuff is look at things and pick things up. There's a bit of combining towards the end, but. Ah, Sylvia, my ex-wife. Whenever I think things can't get any worse, I think about her and how she totally screwed up my life. All right, I see why she divorced you. She's a woman who loves you. a man, <laughs> any man, any time. I'll never forget the day I came home early and caught her with the upholstery man. Oh, I see. Oh, there you are. Oh. <laughs> I just got done with the chair. I'll be sending the bill to your husband. Oh, Rudy. Let's not think about my husband right now. I was, I <laughs> I'm a real person. You're so <laughs> yes. So the game writers have met a woman before, so? we promise. <laughs> yes. God, I've only known you for 10 minutes, and I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, yes, look. And look at this muscle. Oh. The way you hold me, Tex, Tex never held me like this. <clears throat> oh, kiss me, Rudy, and set my lips on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he rocks. <laughs> okay. That's how I would react if I walked in on my wife kissing another man. Oh, Tex, okay. Hey, I wasn't expecting you home so soon. Well, duh. <laughs> nice, nice. Obviously. Now I know why the Rota Rooter man keeps calling and asking whether we need our plumbing checked. Nice. Well, I got to admit, those chairs look pretty good. <laughs> I can masturbate on this. I'll fuck too. <laughs> Listen, how about I don't charge you on the labor and we call it even? Fair enough. But from here on out, Rudy, customer servicing doesn't include my wife. My wife. Hey, honey, I saved you some money again. Aren't you happy? I married her for better or worse. Unfortunately, it never got any better. Boom! My wife start, why you gotta start me all the way back here? Please. Do a jug Whoa. of water. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh goodness. Uh -huh. now we Why look is he on skates? <laughs> Roller skates. <laughs> Most of these desk drawers haven't been used for so long. I'm afraid to open them. Okay. My old reliable faux oak desk. What? Did you... desk? As usual, it's a mess. This here is my favorite desk drawer. As usual, it's a mess. Okay. Most it's of these desk drawers match? haven't been used for so long. I'm... <gasps> As usual, it's a mess. Interesting. All right, Nothing in here but a pen. Okay. Oh, should we able to grab the, the pen? Take yeah. the pen? Okay, this is so good to know. Pixel perfect clicking Nothing needs to happen pen. here. Pan. Oh yeah, look at that. Oop, oop. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's, DPI is down. that's tough. Uh -huh. uh, this nice. is probably the only writing utensil that works in the whole office. Wee. Okay. I have the pen. Toxic taste. There's more things you can get in the drawers. Trouble. The only okay. mutant popular enough to make the Thank New one York Times bestseller list. Yes. As usual, it's a mess. 
can't get that. If you want more hints, you let me know. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go look. Do I have to go move my butt over here? Nothing in here but a stamp. <gasps> oh, it's probably this stamp. That's gonna be a fun one to go get. All right, let's get ourselves over there. Oh, that's what happens right. when you hit W. You're right. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, like looking behind you or something? I think it is looking behind me. Look at that. Eep, eep, eep. Yeah, that's intense. Yes. Okay. Scoot your butt over here, Tex. <laughs> <laughs> Time to grab stamp. One last $10 stamp waits patiently to be licked in the mail. $10? Inflation. It's terrible in the I future. Know. You should get those forever stamps. Yeah. Okay. I mean, does anybody buy... I only buy forever stamps. I assume everybody does at this point. Whoa. I buy forever stamps, but I like, I mean, I don't know what other types of stamps there are. I like sometimes the ones that are have special art. Yes, I see what's happening. I, I'm oh, trying God, to Vinny. stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Now I have a stamp, a pen. I should write a letter. Yeah. Yeah, let's write a letter. Go back to or... Or a digital letter, if you know what I mean. A computer. Physical to digital. What's um? Do I have to look inside more things? Or I have to, to look in the computer on something? Okay, let me go back to the computer. Keep taking your hints. Crime link computer is the only value. Is it the crime link computer? No. <laughs> uh huh. Quit. Okay. Is it? I don't know how many hints you want or not want. Um, so far, they've been great. The way you've been uh, okay, doing great. Is great. Do I have to go? Is it in this room? Yes. Okay. You were. You're getting colder, though. I'll say. Okay. Is it this TV up here? I'm not sure. TV. I think the instinct of looking through drawers was a good one. My phone is an old place. family heirloom. I love to play the classics. Cool in the gang. Peaches and herb. Her herb. Play it. Oh, no, play it. My phonograph's an old fam. Oh, you can't do anything else but just sit here and listen? Well, that's Look, they like to appreciate music, okay? Yeah, no distractions. Yes, so. All right. I looked through those drawers, but it's not looking through my desk drawers anymore, I'm going to assume? No. Okay. So I can look through other things, like this shelf. And I'm going to touch this. That hutch holds a life's worth okay, of... No, that's all one thing. Moving on. I'm going to go look through this on here. I'm going to take my piece. <laughs> my gun. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, God. Take that gun uh, away from this man. <laughs> old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Bam. Bam, bam. And you! Oh. Ah, oh, Tex. Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't, don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Jesus, Tex. Oh, my hell. What a phrase. No matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that, too. I have a feeling Damn. this is going to be one of those days. I lost my gun, Abby. Great. Okay. Well, Re sorry. Reload. Reload. <laughs> uh, um, all right. I'm going to go walk towards the bathroom. I assume this is the bathroom. That's the closet. I need a new hat. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like and they stay with it. All I've ever. Okay, I'm moving away from here. Abby, do I have, should I be looking in a new drawer in one of these other? I offices? think there are more drawers. <laughs> Filing that cabinet should appeal to you, but maybe not the things in the drawers. This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Open. Ah, uh, nothing here but nostalgia. Damn. This cabinet is where my old success. Oh, so not here. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. Stay uh -huh. there. Okay. It's more Ooh. than just the drawers. <laughs> okay, we're skating backwards far away from it. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right. How about this answering machine? Oh, great. Another incoming message that won't print out. 
If I don't get a new fax machine, I'll be out of business. Oh, great. That's it. Oh, that's Looks it? Looks like you need a new fax machine. Yeah, I mean, there's oh. still... I think you have the right instinct in writing a letter. Uh, yeah. Nothing here. Not exactly what you need to do, but there is, like... Stuff you can do. You, I think you can start combining things now. Okay. Check this out. Ready? Yeah. We'll go here. Uh, we're going to combine this credit card application. Oh, we're going to combine the pen and the credit card application. Now we're thinking. Uh huh. And now I've got a filled out credit card application. And now I'm going to combine this gift certificate with the stamp. Nope. Now I'm going to come. I need an envelope. How about it? Uh, yep. <laughs> or maybe not. I think you're fine. Yeah. Can't, Slap can't a stamp on there that's, with your social security number and just <laughs> shove it in the mail. Texas is a real a dupe. Uh, let's see. Let's examine. I need to run this thing down to the auto post box on the street. Okay. We'll do. Okay. Now I know more about yeah. what this game is doing. That's yes. It. I think that might be the bulk of it. Yeah. I don't know if you've looked at the sales flyer and surgery certificate, but you have them now, so I think it's okay. I need to run this thing down to the- Oh, he just hit it there. Okay. Let's try this. Grand opening. All Electronic right. shop. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. One free cosmetic job. Nose, boob, etc. <laughs> okay. Just one boob. <laughs> All right. Do I have to go through the door? This doesn't seem like it's going to work. <laughs> I the did. It did. Feels <laughs> like I'm breathing through a pair of dirty gym socks. It's, it's a disgusting. high radiation day. Most everyone will be staying inside, but I need to hunt for some work. I always like to start the day with a traditional PI breakfast. <coughs> mm, that hits the spot. Tex. Oh, don't make me go down these stairs, Tex. <laughs> Tex, you don't know what you're asking. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, that's the stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Here we go. E Whoa, slow down of those roller skates. Sexy death. Death. Abraham Lincoln death. Sexy death. Bogus. Okay. Oh, there's somebody here. Hi. She she's the one we can talk to? I hope so. It's Lois Lane. <laughs> Chelsea's a hot little number. Nice. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. Boom. <laughs> oh, we've met you. Yeah. Chelsea Bando's the kind that could hold her own with anyone, but she has a way of turning my knees to jelly. She's a mutant, just like everyone else in this part of town, but she's a real beauty. Well, hello, stranger. Oh. Oh, oh, this well, is good. Uh, yeah, what do you want? Charmingly curious? Yeah. I do love a subtle innuendo. This man has never been okay. subtle in his yeah, life. Yeah, let's try it. Hey, sweetheart. Know anyone who could use my services today? Gross. <laughs> well, I guess that depends on which services we're talking about, big guy. Blatant Indian. <laughs> blatant Indian. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Why don't you join me for a drink and I'll go over all the great services <laughs> I have to offer? Gee, Tex, you know, that kind of talk could get you into trouble, but I don't drink with customers. Good for you. Stud response? The blue collar Absolutely. offer or a pricked by Cupid's arrow? What do you think? Stud response? I like stud or pricked by Cupid's arrow. Let's do it. Ah, it's painful the way you toy with my emotions, Chelsea. She's oh, being very please, normal. Tex. <laughs> so, is there something I can do for you? Where'd you get your hat? Wow. That's you. Oh, you know me, Tex. I'm just making ends meet. Okay. Uh, let's ask about people. Rook acts like a tough guy, but he's a softy. Just don't tell him that to his face. Is that the guy who was in our office? Probably. I love Louie, but his friendliness doesn't fool me. 
He's a sharp one. He knows everything that's going on in this neighborhood. Let's say just crap on it. Crap. <laughs> I, want, I want a copy of crap. Sal's a handful. He's a nice guy, but I don't know. I feel kind of naked when he gives me the eye. Okay. Colonel was the guy in his office. Wish I could help you there, Tex. All right. Luckily, Ardo seems to like me. I mean, if I were on his bad side, I'd be tempted to relocate. He could crush a Subaru with one hand. They still have Subarus in the future. <laughs> yeah, always. Great car. All right. Bye. Bye. Uh, I'm just going to get my skates on. I'll see you, see you, <laughs> a, little, see you in a little while. We. <laughs> I got to get this thing down to, is there like an objective? I guess it would be the, oh, let's travel. I, mm. Okay. Interesting. You do have the mail. I have the mail, yeah. So, I don't know where there's going to be a box for you. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. What is the sound? Coit Tower was once a majestic landmark. Wieners. The Wieners That's stand right. on the patio at the base of Coit Tower made the best chili dog in town. No one's here right now, though, so I better check back later. You don't want to do a wiener joke, huh, Bex? That's not. That's too lowbrow for you. Yeah, yeah, please. He's a man of class. What's this? Gags, jokes, balloons, and games. Oh, that's fun. Right in. Nope. Back up, Tex. That didn't work. Hmm, that's so you got to open and then skate in. I'm going to get inside of like my innate cleverness or ingenuity or maybe a key. Hmm, it's all locked up. Nope. You know I'm going to get inside. Okay. Sorry, Tex. Skate around the backside. Nope, that's not happening. Don't get hit by a car. Is this my car? <laughs> I think so. My trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I still regret not getting the sunroof option. Well, we can probably take the car to the thing. I'm going to assume that we're supposed to walk around. To, oh, the electronic shop. That's where we're supposed to go, right? I think one of them. I wonder if this is a brand new electronic shop. That's the sales there. flyer, right? No pun intended. Yeah. I won't be able to get our get credit card the first. Shop That's true. Until I get a membership card. Look at this texture. That's good. Okay, there's a post office. There we go. This a I love how the mailbox just looks exactly the same. That seems illegal. That seems like they should have had to pay somebody. Surprisingly, <laughs> the auto post box has no graffiti on it. Maybe people around here are finally starting to respect our government and its fine agencies. Yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, Where's uh? Where's your inventory? Yeah, how do I get into this? Business? Oh, the inventory under points, up the right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, ready for mail application. Use. The postal service has gotten much faster since the stamp price went to ten dollars. I should get my credit card back tomorrow morning. Nice. Great. Now we just go to sleep. Woo! Good twirl. Oh, thank you. Uh, that another. There's like that blue door next to our friend with the hat. Is that oh, a thing we can go into? This one. I think yeah. it says open. That's right. Oh, that's Rooks. All right, you got this. Get text. your way in there. You got this. Oh, why did they put those meters right in front. Whoa. <laughs> it's a well, weird thing going into the pawn texture. shop. He's a crusty old World War III vet with a face like a raisin and a tongue like a butcher's cleaver. Oh. What do you want, Miffy? Are pawn shops still a thing? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna say with confidence. Sorry, I'm looking <laughs> to see if there's um, subtitles. I didn't see them here. Oh. Hints on captioning. Let's mm. turn that on. Good work. Yeah. Looks like someone didn't get enough fiber in his breakfast this morning. Nice. Up, Murphy. Wow. The last thing I need right now is a yappy mouth wise guy. See, this person, this is committing to the bet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Rook. Can you tell how actually old this person is and how much yeah. is makeup? 25. 
Last night, someone broke into my pawn shop. Oh, got the hand. I don't uh -huh. usually have anything of great value, but yesterday, I gave out a fair amount of cash for an extremely Ooh. valuable diamond bracelet. This is how people talk in San Francisco in the future. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a sleazy pawn shop man. Hello. Brilliant work, Murphy. Uh, let's see. Thanks. So what happened? <laughs> the well, the idea of making him by a young dumb girl as hell. Emma Nimpton. She said she hated to hawk a family heirloom, but had no choice. She said she would reclaim the bracelet. In reclaim. Month. Well, since the bracelet was worth ten times eight thousand, I loaned her. It was a good deal for me. Okay. I think you've been played for a sap, Rook. Maybe. She left me a number, and I called it this morning, but the line is disconnected. Hmm. Someone is suggesting we save, which might be a good idea. I don't know okay. how to save. Let's do... You know how to save? Oh, wait, it's on the auxiliary panel. Save. Okay. Sleazy doo-doo. Sleazy ooh. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Done. Add a comment. Uh, ooh. We'll know what that means later. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so do you have any leads on recovering the bracelet? No, the police are a waste of time, and I can't afford to hire a decent P.I. <laughs> I love offended, but looking for work. Yeah, yeah. Good enough to help track down the bracelet. I'd appreciate your help. I'm not a rich man, but if you find the bracelet, I'll owe you a few favors. Which could come in handy. Get back here and I'll show you where they broke in. Rook takes me out back and shows He's me where they broke in. I was gonna say it's coming in and out. Huh? Busted out and the latch is ripped. It's a sloppy job. As I start my investigation, I'm looking for information to enter into my crime link computer back at the office. One thing's for sure: Emma Nimpton won't be one of the suspects' names. Every PI worth his salt knows that's not my name spelled back. Oh, wow. Oh, Tech yeah. you are smart. I knew that, but I didn't know if you knew that. Yeah, I also knew that. Yeah. Well, that's the sturdy, worm eaten back door to Rook's pawn shop. Hold on, Rook. Let me get my skates on. That's how I, I roll. <laughs> Should we look around the back alley? Definitely. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Rook plays some B ball. Reminds me of playing hoops when I was younger, in the days before my lower vertebrae turned into petrified rock. <laughs> that was, that's extremely disturbing to me. I do not love that bit the of writing. The of chocolate syrup lying all around this alley all look like they've been licked clean. Okay, that's better. These are empty jumbo-sized cans of Camel's Chunky Chocolate Soup. Mm -hmm. What? Uh huh. That is awful. Hmm. An empty bottle of yeah, is, isn't that spring water. For those with a oh, Evanescence made to come back in the future. <laughs> Chocolate soup is basically just like melted, like, um... Uh, Hershey syrup? Yeah, I was gonna say more empty of bottles a, of chocolate syrup lying that all hazelnut around garbage alley, people put on... like they've been licked on, clean. Uh, oh, Nutella? Um, oh, gross. So gross. Chocolate soup. Never heard that one Whatever's before. Whatever's on the other end of this power box must be out of commission. The gauge is as dead as my love life. Nice. This man needs this is where graffiti some self novices come to practice. Okay. After honing their skills, they move on to places where people actually care if you spray paint their walls. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> pretty good burn. Mm, I was playing uh, D and D. We were playing D and D uh, with my kids, and we have a, a DM that we hire that comes by like once a month, right? And it's really fun. We have a good time. <laughs> I forget what that was. But my daughter said something like, um, I was like, so, <laughs> I was like, I think I'm like, uh, my daughter's a healer. I said something like, oh, I'm damaged. Uh, can't you see? I'm like, I'm hurting. And she's like, you always look damaged. <laughs> and the DM was like, oh, damn, you, lose, you lose three more hit points from that chick burn. <laughs> and my daughter That's was good. so psyched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's look around this back alley. Oh, the burglars wow. left a sign. A recyclable paper can. <laughs> Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. All right, we're going to open this? Yes. Wow. Well, do we have to get... <laughs> do we have to get near it? 
Uh, maybe skate to it? Or maybe. Yeah, let's get, let's get in there. I'm looking. It also just might not be super relevant. Oh, okay. This isn't a yep, thing this, that. Uh, thing. Look at that. This... Blech. Yep, it's just garbage. That looks like garbage. Okay. This is not the thing we need. I don't think so. We want hints. Um, is the thing I need back here? There's a few things you're going to need, yeah. And it does seem to mostly just be, like, looking at stuff. Okay. Like, Let's one go. or two pickups. Let's go look at this radio. I got a radio. This old relic probably hasn't worked in years. Hey, there are batteries in here. Just loose batteries in this thing. <laughs> just... Those things would be exploded as hell. Let's uh, take this battery. Can you can you take it? Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't, now I just have the batteries in the more radio. Okay. The batteries were the important Sure, oh, Tex. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything else I need back here, Abby? Go yes. Up. Does it have to do with trash cans? Um, yes. Okay. There's something hidden underneath one of the bins. Okay. And there's all other stuff you might want to look at. Uh, and <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a better Get over. Of some of this movement. Key. There's a key. Yeah. And then there should be something you can see by the door from this walk through space. From the door or at the door? Maybe from the like, door. A ball? Outside the door is what it says. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Not a part of the walkthrough. Yeah, it's not, it's okay. okay. He just hit the brick wall. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, there's a number here. 951. No, that's not it. Okay. There's this uh, electrical box. Um, oops, stuff is falling out of the, the gutter. The texture of the pavement surface is a cross between a spilled coke and sandstone. Okay, I don't think that's... Bad big... coke still exists in the future. Yeah. It'd be very sad if that went out. Um, okay, Abby, I give up. What am I supposed to be looking at? Okay, there should be a footprint around here. Ooh. Look at the footprint outside Rook's back door. Not really more specific than that, but I can look at the other guy. Let's find it. And then there's going to be some glass shards to the right of the step. Okay. And then after that, I think you can just go through the wooden fence. Oh, whoa. I think I was standing on it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like a shoe print is outlined in that sticky pool of something resembling chocolate. Chocolate. Footprints. What the hell is up in this chocolate 14. soup? <laughs> There's a lot of chocolate going on. Uh, I think there's nothing else I could do with that. And then you said glass shards? Glass shards to the right of the stairs. So you might have to move that trash can out of the way. Oh. Okay. That's good. Those are good sounds. That looks like a glass shard. Broken window. Well, obviously, the window was broken from the outside. Yep. Shard of glass must have come from that broken window. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Get the glass. All right, and then I can just leave out the uh, the old gate. Abby, you're good at giving hints. Yeah. I appreciate this. Well, good. It's about the right speed for me. I think you might also want to examine the glass now that you have it. Okay. Looks like whoever broke into Rook's nice. window left one of his hairs behind. Apparently, our burglar is a carrot top. Nice, it's, it's carrot top. Uh, imagine if it actually was. You know, it's about I the mean, right time. Yeah. Uh, so I took the case, huh? Yeah. So, so we know it's a redhead, and they love batteries. They have Gold. a big shoe size. A big shoe size. This might be it for this avenue if there's another place we can go. Should I go back to my crime computer? Or was there a way to travel? Can you travel the car? I can travel through the car. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Alright, don't go in there. Um But where would I want to go? Let's see where we can go. Yeah. 
I can go to Coit Tower, which I think was closed. Go check out Wienerville. Let's go check it out. Where in the world? Coit Tower was once a majestic landmark. The wiener stand on the patio at the base of Coit Tower made the best chili dog in town. No one's here right now, though, so I better check back later. Okay. That's not the place. Let's go to Chandler Ave. Okay. That's my house. Good spin. Good twirl. Uh-huh. Let's see what it is. Oh, no. Oh, it's right here. Huh. <laughs> is it as bad? Why did you get in the car just from walking? <laughs> it's a... You know, it's supposed to be for travel. Should I go talk to... Uh, there. I don't know. We're looking for a pizza place. Oh, a pizza place. You got it. You want pizza place? Let's do it. Where's the thought? Now playing sexy clothes. That's not pizza. That's a fountain lunch. Okay, maybe down the. Uh, that's radioactive wastelands. Uh, that's a pizza bar. Pizza. Okay. Why would I go to the pizza place? Let's go to walk in. Francesca Lucido makes the spiciest pizza. Spiciest in the city. pizza. The only thing spicier than her cooking is her imagination. And right now she seems Whoa. to have a thing for me. Ooh, la, you should la. like that, my man. Yeah. Tech, it's your whole Wait, thing. We just go. Horny for just everybody. Go in. <laughs> like the idea that Tex doesn't quite know how do doors work, just kind of like walks into them sometimes, and is like, sometimes I go in, sometimes they don't work. I don't really. I don't really. Sometimes just give them a little kiss. Do I have to be what the hell? How did you get into this place? Is it on the other side? You're supposed to be able to go in there and talk to huh. Is that the door? That's not a door. No. Uh, no. Francesca Lucido. Is the door the brown thing next to the... Oh my gosh, is that a door? This? I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh yeah, open. Let's get in there. It should be under the awning. They don't have good indicators of yes. where you're going. Why would you put your awning over the window to see the people? Yeah. Like, well, well, it's oh, the yeah. handsome oh. P.O. Oh, yeah. Tex Murphy. <laughs> Have you come to take me away? Mm. <laughs> cowboy no humor. Fame. No, I want cowboy humor. <laughs> you want cowboy but, humor? Yeah. Okay. I want to flirt oh, with her. Yes. You must have seen my white horse hitched to the railing out front. Oh my, Mr. Murphy, you certainly know how to excite I'm glad girl. they got a real Italian woman for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sex appeal humor. Yes. Wait, <laughs> no, this bottle of lunch. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta save it again. <laughs> Are we gonna ruin this woman's life? Uh huh. She could take it. Okay, okay, look, I was only joking. I came by to ask you some questions. Oh, poo. poo. All, all the business and no pleasure makes even a private dick a dull boy. What do you want? Ask about, oh, the burglary. I heard that Rook's place got robbed. It scares me to death. There's so much crime in this part of the city. Hmm. Can't help you, Tex. Hmm. Rook is a tough old geezer. I've known him ever since we opened the slice of heaven back in the 32. But I can't say I that's know soon. him very well. In a few more years and we'll have slice of heaven, Benny. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We get the meat. I assume they're in 2050 something. <laughs> Me and Sal got married too young and it's been up and down ever since. I've had enough of his drinking and the womanizing and I divorce him in a second. Is she Italian or Eastern European? Who are top lawyers. If I, I don't think she even she knows. <laughs> of his screwing around, it's I a could pizza place, so I assume Italian. Sentence. That's what I assume they were going for with the music and everything. Uh, let's see. So we asked about the bracelet. We asked about the, let's ask about the old. Thing. 
sorry. I don't know anything about that. Chelsea is a nicer girl. <laughs> I feel like that's supposed to be the Italian. Her, she doesn't give him the time of day. <laughs> okay. Uh, Abby, am I supposed to do uh, head a certain you, direction? You were supposed person? to talk about Sal, and you did it. So I, did it. Okay. I think you're kind of good to go whenever okay. you're ready. Me and Sal got married too young, and it's been up and down ever since. I've had enough of his drinking and the womanizing, and I divorce him in a second. But he's got a couple of buddies who are top lawyers. All right. If I had some hard evidence of his screwing around, I could divorce him and get a decent settlement. Well, let me go tell you about this uh, poster I know. And, uh, <laughs> they'll set you up. All right. Okay. Yes. Let's head to Brew and Stew. Before you go in, there should be something out front. Okay. The Brew and Stew. Check this move out. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Coming back around. I think it goes over here. No, that's, yeah, Brew and Stew. Well, this is a section of the Bay City Mirror. It's a weekly newsletter that covers local goings-on written by mutants for mutants. I'd subscribe if they had a comics page. I want to meet a mutant. Well, or we I did, guess we the... did. Yeah, the shopkeeper. What, did, what makes you a mutant? Yeah. Are you like an X-Man? I assume it's like a radiation thing. Yeah. Like an like extra you. arm or something. Ooh. I don't know. Are we supposed to go inside here? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Great. So I don't know how this game works and all adventure games are different. I assume there are fail states if, uh, if I should be saving repeatedly. I don't know if this I game has no checkpoints. Increment file so. and save. Let's try that. That's cool. My walkthrough is nothing it says, like, be careful. bad seems to be happening yet. Okay. It's just like, hey, talk to people. Pick stuff up. So I don't know if we're just not there yet. Um, Twitch chat says the game does have fail states. Brew and okay. Stew is run by Louis okay. Laments, a bloated mutant with a heart bigger than his waistline. Everyone comes to Louis' all right. cafe. So Calm down. The street <laughs> if something's going on, Louis knows about it. What can I do for you, Mife? Mife? Uh, Mife? Mife, ear bending, suds and hugs. How about a pitcher of beer and the love of a good woman, Louis? Oh, I see. I can't help you with the woman, Mife. Wow. Yeah, no problem with the beer, though. What You're having fun have? here. Uh huh. Ooh, I bet this in HD. This looks real good. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they won't do an HD one. Uh, oh, that's good. Thirsty and thirsty and grateful. A different meaning in 2024. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Here we go. Thanks, <laughs> I should have some work soon. Then I'll be able to pay my tab off first thing. Don't worry about it, my. F I know you're good for it. All right, let's ask about the burglary. Rook's been robbed before, but he's never had anything really valuable taken. This is gonna. Oh my god! You can like Rook hear the like well. spit inside of his you fake teeth. Turned a blind eye. <laughs> At least you know they recorded it on set. Uh, Rex been around before, but he's never had anything. This is gonna go right well. Wow, too bad the cops have turned away. Okay, I'm bracing. Rook told me about the bracelet, but I don't know anything more about it. Okay, what's the crusade? Ever since the crusade started up, the relations between norms and mutants has gone to pot. I've had rocks thrown through my windows. Graffiti sprayed on the bricks outside. There's not much I can do, though. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds so sad. Rook's an ornery old cuss. But me and him are old buddies. We fought in the big war together. He's one person you can trust in these troubled oh, yes. times. Okay. What is his accent? Or is like it Brooklyn ish? Yeah, things are a little slow, but I'm getting by. Having to lay off some of my kitchen help hurt my pride more than anything. Okay. Francesca. Franny the Fireball. She and Sal opened the pizza place seven to eight years ago, and they've been fighting ever since. Smile. <laughs> Look at that charmer. Look at you. Sal's a big guy with an appetite for food, wine, and women. He comes by here most every day for lunch. 
Okay. Is that all we need to know? Um, it's just ask about everything. Did we do okay. Chelsea? We did not. Chelsea acts tough, but she has to be with all the scum around. Ugh. And she's as smart <laughs> as she is pretty. She <laughs> oh, knows a lot disgusting. of what's going on in the shadows of this city. Right, shadows. Ardo. Ardo comes in now and again. Usually orders a couple of steaks and a chocolate milk. It's disgusting. His temp is as short as he is tall. And he's only got one oar in the water. What a bad combination. Is he a redhead and does he like chocolate soup? Uh huh. We need to know these things. I can't follow up. Colonel? Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. Oh. All right. All right. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think you're good to go. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Okay, is there another hotel around? Ooh, is there another hotel? It's not our hotel. Let's see, we've got the newsstand, the magic shop, the theater. Mm -hmm. That hotel, but I think that's ours, right? No, that's our hotel. Yeah. I think behind you, there might be something. That's the pawn shop. Oh, this maybe? Oh boy, that's tough to read. Golden Gate Hotel. Okay. Oh, dear. Yeah. Or eyes. I bet this is exactly like those things that have like a number in the dots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Ardo oh, my dad's here. Goon Great. Works at the front desk at the Golden Gate Motel. Ardo's no rocket scientist. In hey, fact, Tony. He probably doesn't even know what a rocket scientist <laughs> How's is. How's it going? Uh, Boob tube hobnobbing. Yep. That's, uh, sounds about right. Anything good on the tube today? Uh-huh. I'm watching the Captain Wallaby show, and he's so funny. Oh, that's Captain Wallaby, not the person we're talking to? No, Captain I Wallaby, think he... Oh. Show. Nope. It's there we yeah. go. Third favorite Weird. Show. My favorite what a way to do that. What a way to do that. Bird's Fire Safety Show. I think this person's very tall. They kind of look like they're standing on a box and leaning over, but I can't tell. They can do anything. Yeah. Screens. It's also, yeah, just make them big. Make conversation. Why what? is that your that's favorite a, show? That doesn't look right. Because fire safety is very important. And Why is I he suddenly small? He was huge know. before. Now he's birds. like. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't want to patronize or lie. I guess we're going here. Well, I'm sure Inspector Burns would be thrilled. Can I ask you some questions? Okay. I can answer some questions, but first I have to put on my fire hat because Inspector Burns' fire safety show is going to be on pretty soon. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's ask about the burglary. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, moving on. I never heard nothing about that. Okay, well, you're just lying to me. How about Sal? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, how about Francesca? She's the lady who makes the best pizza. I eat at her pizza place all the time because I love it. <laughs> this guy is just me. This Pretty guy, good reason. <laughs> <it's this guy. laughs> just want to watch your fire safety show and eat a slice. <laughs> yeah, totally. I eat there because it's good. What else do you need to know? <laughs> He's a nice guy and I like to eat there because there's a TV. Fair enough. Okay, this guy is nice. basically me. I went to his pawn shop. <laughs> Because I thought he would have Inspector Burns action figures, uh -huh. but he didn't, and I got mad at him, so he probably don't want <laughs> I me. love this guy. He's my favorite character so far. Ooh, Chelsea is pretty cool, because she's got good magazines and stuff. That's where I bought my Inspector Burns fire safety manual. Okay. Damn. He's a nice guy, and I like to eat there because there's uh -huh. a TV. I'm sure they're trying to make this guy simple-minded, but I love this guy, and I feel like he's the best character in the game so far. I'm with you, Vinny. Yeah. He's tall, and he likes I TV and pizza. <laughs> and knows what he that. likes and just knows how to express it. Uh, all right. I think we did we talk about everybody? I, just I don't think you talked about like the crusade yet. Inspector oh, yeah. Burns, because fire safety is very important. <laughs> and I also believe in fire safety. All right. I heard about that, but I don't know what a crusade is. <laughs> this guy's just All honest. right. Yep. <laughs> All right. Is that Fair everything? enough. Yeah. 
Uh, did we get any good information from this guy? Uh, I think we learned that he likes the crusade I don't know thing. What that is. Um, or not the crusade, the inspector guy. He does like the inspector guy. Guessing we can use that info to our advantage. Okay, I left. Uh, now what, Abby? Um, I think there's another thing on Chandler Ave that's locked. There's a key nearby it. Oh, I, I did get a. I there. did pick up a key. Can we? Oh, maybe the key for this place for Rusty's. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Oh, maybe I don't have a key anymore. Nope, there it is. The key from the alley. Use. Well, that's not gonna work. How oh, about on the lock? I think there might be something nearby well, if you look not. around. Okay. I'm gonna open not up the meters. Not too far away, but. Steal the money. The Acme Warehouse. Wee. Up closer to uh, Rusty's. Oh, not the Acme Warehouse? Yeah. Looks like someone's locked the door. Maybe well, eventually, not... but yeah. I don't think so. Closer to Rusty. Like, if you were yeah. Rusty, where would you would, put your key? I would put it under the doormat, because I'm a video game. I'd move the doormat. Looks like a welcome mat, but when it's on the doorstep of... <laughs> Looks like a welcome mat, but when it's on the doorstep of... Uh, I guess it's not there. I don't know where to go. I'm just, so you gotta I'm skate forward, forward to forward. Forward. <laughs> Okay. You know, making game. games where you move around seems hard. Yes. Get why point and click adventures were the way they were for so long. Oh, that's a good. Wow, game. what a key! That's Ooh. awesome. Again, that thing reproduced is going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Let's go. Eat, eat, eat. Wait, the welcome mat's the wrong way. Unless you're welcome to the outside. All right. <laughs> yeah. Idiots. Idiot. There. Hmm, it's all locked up. Key to Rusty's. Yeah, joke time. <laughs> Don't you look oh. at me. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> All right, let's shh. Look somewhere else. <laughs> All right, we just need to buy some fun <laughs> masks and a rose that squirts water. Wow. This was terrifying. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's... Oh, this is a scary mask. Can you say that about all of them? Why, it's Mr. Sloppy Lasagna Eater. Okay, well, that's offensive. I've been called worse, but come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he's got, what commentary we have on this one. I bet this is a real popular mask. Okay, not good. Let's have this one. Looks like my fourth grade teacher. <laughs> okay, all right. Boom. Well, this must be Mr. Grimm. He's a reaper. Uh, I'm not sure I get it. And then this one. Wow, the limited edition Daryl Hannah wig and mannequin set. Okay. All right, timely. I'll bet this is a real popular mask. All right. Back it up. Beep, 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 beep. Take this thing. Oh, yeah. New gun. Suction dart crossbow. Looks like some kind of in-house television. I'll turn it on. Hi kids, it's Whoa. me, Inspector Burns. Whoa. And as we all know, fire can be our friend, but fire can be our foe. So many times, fires start so carelessly. And what can fires do? Fires burn you. Never, never light matches. No, no, no. <laughs> fire is dangerous. Fire made me look like this. Do you want to look like me? Damn. No, no, the no. The dark show. <laughs> Don't look like Inspector Burns. Don't play with matches. I feel like that's not a good... Inspector Burns. I always thought he was a freak, but the kids <laughs> love him. So does Zardo. I feel like that's not like a great show for the mutant community to be like, fire made me look like this. Do you want to look like this? Oh, I look like <laughs> this. <laughs> Ooh, this is so sad. And a button in the mouth? What was Ooh, that thing? a small nozzle. Probably a helium dispenser mm. used for filling balloons. Okay. Okay, I don't need a balloon. Just a couple of empty old packing boxes. Hmm. 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 Abby, have you watched any of the Fallout uh, show? Are you interested? I in have not. I've been curious about it. 
Yeah. I'm like not dying to see it, but this I am curious. I've heard good During the Bay yeah. Area Yodeling Festival. Have you seen it? No, but I, I might watch it next week. That's blasphemy. We've been watching Shogun. This wig must be quite okay. How is that? Shy people. I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's like the greatest show ever this made. Wig which would even make someone like me look glamorous. Like that. Oh my gosh, sure, it's pretty good. These weapons are all made of plastic. All bark and no bite. They're completely useless. Oh, is that a secret button there? <laughs> oh, what is that? Hmm. Maybe this key fits in that oh. employee's own oh, door. Oh, nice. Good eye, Vinny. Look at that. Puzzle there solid. should be a mask that you can grab. Maybe it's not on the shelf, but... Oh. Whoa! For a second there, I thought someone had decapitated Inspector Burns and left his head on Oh, the maybe I can uh, give it to my friend. Or use it on my friend. Or wear it and say, Yeah. You can do fire now. Well, I have no idea what I'd ever do with a stacking ring, but what the heck. Yeah, it's an adventure game. Take it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else with a gun? I mean, I think this game, let's say this, the movement is super weird. I'm sure they were trying something here and they were like, let's never do that again. But the, <laughs> but the, um, the way the UI and inventory work, yeah, it's pretty pretty reasonable. I, I got. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have a problem with standard it. adventure game stuff. Yeah. Well, that's not gonna work. Oh. It might be the front door. Oh. Employees only. Okay. There we go. Uh, use. Open. Nice. Rusty, did you do this? Did you kill? Did you what? Well, it's not a murder. Did you rob a thing? Okay. What's this? Clowns have red hair sometimes. That's true. Oh. Wearing a clown mask and love chocolate. A plastic suction dart can be formidable ammo in the hands of an expert like myself. Okay. Why in the world would Rusty keep a barrel of toxic acid? That's a good question. Just open that up, Tex. Just get in there. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, Rusty. That's bad. Oh, lordy. Well, this is where Rusty ended up. What a way to go. And I'm willing to bet he didn't crawl in here on his own. Someone murdered him. Do-do-do. Posters in here tell you more than you'd ever care to know about film processing. I bet you'd care to know quite a bit if you were processing film. Posters in here tell you more than you'd ever... So wait, are we still just investigating the bracelet, even though now we have a murder case? You know, priorities. I don't know, I guess so. Is that all I needed to know in here? I assume. No, there should no? be something to do with balloons in here. Oh, why? Get your ass back in there, Tex. Or maybe it's just in the... Yeah, I guess that's the only thing in the, the back room. Must have been used. But okay. we do need to make a oh. balloon before we go. Okay. I did... Right, we did so, see the thing to blow up the balloon. Let's find... Where is the balloon? I'm looking on my guide. Uh, okay, I see. There's something in the sink. In... Oh, so There gosh. was more to do oh, in the back room. You're telling me I have to go here and then look down? Uh, yeah, good luck. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's favorite thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. I would I don't think for a very long no. time I would have ever found that. Yeah. Oops. This Is game could be better about that kind of thing. The game crash. And we're done. The game Game's crash. over. I hear it. Oh no. Hold on. Can you move around? I think. Ah, okay. Oof. Okay. Work. I got an alert. Let's save. Did you like click off or something? No, but I am going to save it. I uh, know. Like I got a driver update alert from Gog, oh. Gog thing. Okay. Let's make sure we can save it. That was scary. Yeah. Save. Increment file and save. Okay. Good work. Now I'm going to go blow up this balloon. I wonder if... um. <laughs> I wonder if kids will be oh, Jesus. Slow down. Uh, I wonder if they will be dressed as uh, vault dwellers for Halloween. Um, oh well, is it pretty violent? I don't know if kids are watching it. Look, there were kids. There yeah. were like eight-year-olds dressed as like Squid Game people. Uh, That's fair. I did see this past Halloween like a kid that was like a Mortal Kombat character. 
That's pretty time. good. And I was like, yes. And I was like, oh, Mortal Kombat, cool. And the parents were like, they just wanted to be a ninja. It's not, don't. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you got to rip my spine out and, uh, and uh, you, <laughs> you'd like tie a knot in my spleen. What are you talking about? It was Mortal Kombat. You know? Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying uh, to think of a lot of what I saw last year. There's a lot of Mario characters. A lot of Mario. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a lot of Mario. Probably some, probably still some residual Minecraft. Maybe some. Um, oh, I didn't uh, see any Minecraft. Among Us. Or Among Us. I wish. Oh, wow. I think it's just because the Mario movie. I'm going to. Oh, right. It's the Mario movie. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to dress up like uh, this character. Okay. And I'm going to use the helium and for my voice. That's what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Inspector Burns mask use on me. Can you combine it with the helium? This is a gen gen genuine question. No. Okay. Okay, that I can do. Nice. This, where did I get the table saw? Oh, it's the battery. Um, <laughs> oh, it's really cool. yeah. Nice. How do I... Well, let's just try going inside. I heard that Ardo shuts the place down every once in a while to do fire oh. safety upgrades. Maybe he's painting fire extinguishers in all the rooms. Okay, so it's not open anymore. We can't go in here. No. All right. I think you've done everything you're going to do on this street. Okay. Is it time to go back to my apartment? Or is it time to go, go back to, to the Coit car? Coit Tower. You we might have. I think Coit Tower is still going to be like, nothing to do here. Okay. Chili dogs. Uh, wieners. Wet wieners. Uh, Texas office? Then? Where to? There should be a PlayStation. A PlayStation? Put on Chandler Ave, and then you can go to a specific you scroll down or something. No, I can't scroll hmm. down anymore. What are we looking for? It says, look at the speed speeder car. This is your car, and use it to travel around the city. Travel to the police station. Police station? Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to see what we might have missed. Bless you. Um, Deirdre says in our chat, you saw more to find, but talk to Chelsea, asking her about the robbery at the police station. All right, let me try that. Ah, uh, I guess yeah. we talked to her too soon. Yeah, yeah, right out of the gate, literally. Hello, thank you. Hi, Tex. How's the investigation going? Is there anything I can do to help? Okay, ask about the burglary. Yeah, you know, I remember Rook told me about the burglary. Yeah. You know, I remember a stranger hanging around the past couple of days. It might be a dead end, but I seem to remember that the guy had these bright green eyes <gasps> and a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. Okay, we can look this up on our computer. Yeah, I feel like we're getting, uh, we're getting details here. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. Sal's a handful. He's a nice guy, but I don't know. I feel kind of naked when he gives me the eye. Okay, yeah. Gross. Now we're getting more. Franny's a live wire. Either she or Sal is going to do time for killing the other one. I have never seen a couple fight like they do. Damn. Okay. Ruck we talked about. I'm talking about Louie. We asked about I love stage. Louie, but his <laughs> yeah. friendliness doesn't fool me. He's a sharp one. He knows everything that's going on in this neighborhood. The crusade is big. I mean, much bigger than most people know. They have operatives all over, and then these huge sections of the norm population are joining. Well, they say it's a religion, but then they encourage the members to be violent and prejudiced towards others. Damn. All right. I wonder. Wish I could. Help. We can try to go to the police station again if it's unlocked. You um, go to the crime I computer? don't know if this is actually the thing, but I would go to the crime computer and. But yeah. in, in we can check we it out. Somewhere. We got an adventure around. Yeah. You. You remember? Oh gosh. Oh remember? goodness. Uh huh. Bright green eyes, tattoo, red hair. Um, yeah. We don't know. Size fourteen shoes. Size On 14 the top floor of this place. Okay. Well. Can I do it right. Okay. Nice. All right, click crime computer. Here we go. 
All right, so we don't know uh, race. I wonder if we could do. We don't, right? No. We don't. Do don't we know if it's so. uh, male, female, other? We don't know height mm-hmm. yet either. No. Okay. All right. Or we weight. don't know weight. Boy. We don't know a lot of stuff. Okay. Can we not select certain categories. I think I just hit next. Oh, or unless well, like, it's selected. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, this might. Overs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yes, this is what I meant. Do uh, all the biggest things. We do know hair color was red. Red. We don't know how many eyes. Presumably we two. Green. We don't know blood don't type. Know blood type. But we know size. What was 14. It? 14. 14. 14. 14. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know about this. Do we know missing teeth? We do know that? tattoo. We do know uh, anchor on the arm. Oh no, that's scars. Oh wait, you can unclick. I see. Okay, so we can. Um, so let's go preview. Still have quite a few matches. We don't know. So. We don't know. Yeah, too many. I'm gonna say. But it's good to keep them here. Well, it's a male, right? Is it? Do we know if it's a male? I can't Not, remember. I mean, it would be interesting. I choose using he, him pronouns. Okay. Saying his eyes. I thought so, at least, in the okay. tattoo. All right. We got more work to do. Yeah. Missing head. All right. Of course. Quick. All right. I'm going to back out. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah. Wow. Oh gosh. Whoever made this was like. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, Deidre says we gotta get a Different newspaper time. at the newsstand to get to the police department. Let's go. I don't think we can go there yet. Let's try well, we part. picked up a newspaper. We could examine the one that was on the floor in front of. Uh, what's it called? Oh, the. Um, we have a newspaper. Damn it. Oh boy. Bargulies. Okay. Okay. Look at Officer Harris. Wow. Dump, dump, dump. There we go. Oh, this is, this is, there we go. That'll be good. I see, yeah. Should save soon. <laughs> yeah. Save before going to the uh, police. I haven't seen Mac Malden since the Martian Memorandum case. I remember him as a surly, incompetent, fat nosed cop. Okay. As I step into his office, I can see he's changed. His nose is even bigger. Boom! Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy. I figured you'd be dead by now. Me! Jeez. Hey! This is some dragnet music. Alright, save. I'm just gonna save over. Okay. My favorite thing. Let's save. Back at you. I could say the same about you. When's the last time you had your cholesterol checked? Oh! Still the wise guy, eh, Murphy? It was great to see you. Now get lost! <laughs> I <don't. laughs> I'll bet you could use an extra strength laxative and a nap. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> and you could use a punch in the chops! Get out of my office! Uh. Alright, well. That went it. well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back. Can't you find something better to do than bother me? I don't mean to bother you, but I'm still stuck on this case. I need your help. Probably a case of cheap scotch. Oh my god, these two. Get a room. Uh... (laughs) Oh no. Not me. I hear drinking too much is your department. Get out of here! Boom! Roasted. I got to drink a (laughs) bath. The mayor's office is all over me again. You heard about the string of pawn shop robberies? Yes. We have no suspects, and I'm catching the heat for it. 
Oh, wow. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's my play here? I like the oh, idea of sucking up to him. Okay, let's go. Detective on the case. Oh, nice. Yeah. I asked him to help out, but he's busy. Now shove nice. off. Beep. Shove off. <laughs> I'm back again. Can't you find something better? Um, apologetic. I don't mean to bother you. Sure you are. Uh huh. Make a fermented deal. Tell you what. Help me solve this case I'm working on, and I'll buy you scotch. And not the cheap stuff. Bribing a cop, babe, Murphy. Get out of here now. And oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Let's... What's crazy is the guide says, choose any <laughs> option. <laughs> do than bother me. All right. Apologetic. I don't mean. Sure you. Hey, we got to be nice. Hit it where it hurts. Not me. I... Hey, I got plenty to drink up. Yeah. The mayor's office is. Suck up. Sounds like we might be looking for the same burglar. Let's compare notes, old buddy. No chance, Murphy. I don't need you getting in my way. Go play detective somewhere what? else. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, back for more. No, because I really like to watch your face turn red. Still the one. Shut up, Murphy. It was great to see you. Now get lost. <laughs> <laughs> get lost. Oh, come on. Remember the Martian Memorandum case? Hey, we made a swell team. Yeah, those were the days. I don't get cases like that anymore. Things are harder now. The mayor's office is all over me again. You heard about the string of pawn shop robberies? Yes. We have no suspects, and I'm catching the heat okay, for it. Okay, well, help us then. So you and your crack team of detectives Man. have no leads? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course we have leads, you pots. We know he's a norm. Okay, Caucasian. he's a norm. Caucasian. Eat me blood, blood. blood. Okay. That narrows okay. down our list of suspects to about a million. Now get out of my head. <laughs> what to do? Get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough to go on? Should we go back to the office? I think so. Let's put it in the computer. I don't know okay. if that'll really change much, but He's at norm. least is what we were supposed to do. They forgot to model the inside of this car. I love my car to just be an empty void. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Norm. We got AB negative. <laughs> Vinny, get out of here. And then crime. Like, Caucasian male. Uh, Caucasian male. We don't know a height. We don't know a weight. He's a, a mutant. Not no. a mutant. I think Norm means. Yeah. Not. Red. A green. B negative. AB negative. Oh, God. My cat just came up behind me and touched my back. That was so scary. <laughs> we don't know anything else, though. Man. All right. I don't think so. Too many, too many. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to quit. All right. Does the guide suggest going somewhere else now? It wants you to check out the back alley again. All right. I'll do it. I don't know how you would have known to just do that. I would have. want to just move around place to place. But. Falling down the steps eventually. <laughs> mm -hmm. the back alley. Grr. All right, the steps, the thing, the thing, the, the thing. Uh, let's go here. Uh, I think you there. Back. Or is it over? No, wait, it's, it's like behind. It's yeah. like an alleyway. One of these, the other way. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. A little more to the right. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. How oh, dare man. Oh no. Hands hands up, bud. <laughs> What's up, friend? <laughs> All right. <laughs> What do you want? Um. Yeah. You gotta do. Looks like yeah. you're busy drowning your troubles, my good man. 
my good mind. Well, Mr. High and Mighty, what are you, a preacher or something? More. No, I'm just a man like you. who have been down on this luck. <laughs> and a preacher. Look at me. I'm crying. <laughs> now, what is it you want? Uh, I feel like you'd appreciate me getting down to business. I just want to ask a few questions. Yeah. First, did you see anything strange last night? The strangest thing I've seen recently is you trying to get information from me for free, you schmuck. <laughs> yeah, schmuck. Yeah, schmuck. Yeah, schmuck. All right, we're, we're going to save it and we're going to go down this whole adventure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, save, 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 save. Oh no, not you again. Look, I'll warn you <gasps> right now. I'm almost out of chocolate syrup and I'm not in a good mood. I need to get this guy chocolate syrup. What is this chocolate economy? He's, you know, he needs it. I just might have something that would improve your ugly mood. Is that so? Well, what? Chocolate syrup. Free boob job. Free boob job. Here we go. Well, that's not gonna cut it, punk. He needs chocolate. All right. All right. Where do I buy this guy some chocolate syrup? Where would you find a delicious chocolate dessert, you think? Oh, well, when you put it like that, clearly it would be from the Nona at the pizza place. She's got like an eggclair. Yeah? Well. Okay. All right, all right. I mean, you know, Where or, would you? Sometimes they have a little display yeah. full of desserts at these kinds of places. At the bar. Um, at the bar, at the newsstand, at the. I think it's supposed to be a diner, but at the, the diner, bar, yes. Yes, at the fountain lunch. Oh yeah, my friend, my friend. Uh, what can I get you? You know, chocolate. I need chocolate. I need chocolate. Who's Mac Malden? He's one cop. of the few norms oh. besides you who's eaten here. Seems like a typical cop. A little dim. And not too concerned about what happens in the mutant sections of town. Oh, he's so sad. Can't tell if he's sad or reading the teleprompter. Slice of my chocolate pie? I think it's a mix of both. <laughs> I can get you a piece to go if you like. Oh, your teeth are falling out. I... <laughs> Just take. Did I just take it? I think you'd have it now. It's in your inventory. It? Yeah. Right. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thanks. You just gave me that chocolate pie. I mean, you gotta go out of business, but it's your problem. Here we Fun go. Fun thing about this guide is they keep calling this man the homeless bum in the dumpster. Oh, wow. Okay. I like it. I mean, I guess he never got a credit. Isn't a good time for a social call, punk? If I don't get a fix soon, I'll go insane. He needs to hurry me for a lot to do. He what? That, he needs that chocolate. Why? I don't make a practice of helping out addicts, but I think I've got something that will ease the pain. Why do they make oh, chocolate well, like a drug in this world? If you've got something, let's have it. It also is wild because they don't treat chocolate like the way this guy is acting is like <laughs> I'm addicted, <laughs> but like you bought it in a diner. You want. He could he could have just walked into a diner, probably gotten some chocolate. All right. Yeah, Tell me right. about the bracelet. Wish I could help. Oh, you're useless. Nope. Don't know a thing about it. Sorry. Can't help you with that. Well, I gave you all that chocolate. I saw someone all right, crowding ready? around the back of the pawn shop last okay, six, night. Okay, 6'3 or 6'4, six, so 300 pounds. I didn't pounds. get a good look at him, but I could tell he was huge. huge. Probably 6'3 or 6'4, about 300 pounds. Okay, well, no, that's not that huge. I say our <laughs> politics, especially bad politics. Wish I could help. No, you don't. All right. Oh, nope. don't, don't know a thing about it. All right, so we got that some good info. Goon. He used to hassle me until I shared a quart of chocolate syrup with him. Now he lets me alone. I don't know. This is this chocolate economy. The only time seems I ever pretty... see Sal is when he gets drunk and comes by to pick a fight. Then I kick his butt and send him on his way. Okay. I don't have much to do with her. They don't serve anything with chocolate in it at the pizza joint. <laughs> nice guy. 
Good cook. Every national feed of bum day, he brings me one of his award-winning chocolate pies. Ugh. You know you chocolate can ask him for chocolate. Pies. I think JLC used to fancy me. Until she found out my only true love was chocolate. Damn near broke her heart. They're really running this one. Uh... Brook, he leaves me alone. Can't ask for more than that. All right. We have the info. Thank you, and Chocolate he's, Fiend. He's got the chocolate, yeah. Sitting in that chocolate. All right. What, what else were we missing then? Oh, uh, limbs, right? We need to know more about Yeah, limbs. I think we can still put it in, though. Let's put it in the computer. Let's do it. I, I also could... would think Yeah. people, if he was missing limbs, would have said that. You know what I mean? That would have been a thing. Well, hold on. We got to go to our computer. I'm going to go the shortcut. Oh, you don't want to go upstairs? I don't want to go up the stairs. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll start narrowing down the choices here. I also don't think we've talked about Randy, who owns the place, who is dead. Which seems like a thing that... Oh, right. yeah, that was like, well, <laughs> we found him in a vat of acid. Nothing to see here. Six, the six, well, 230, right? It is 300, 300. 300. Not a mutant. Okay, is there anything else? Was he Caucasian? It was a Caucasian male? Is that Caucasian. verified? Let's assume yes. two eyes. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think we can assume two eyes. Ooh, one. Especially if he's a normie. Flem! Oh, that was the name of our title. Our, uh, our Flem. Oh, yeah. Up Flem. Male, Mickey Flem. 6'4", eye number two, green, blood, AB, this anchor tattoo on right arm. Alien Made of birth. Born Mail fraud. Okay. Exception petty theft. Novelty items three or something. Okay. Whereabouts of Mick Flem uh, are unknown at this time. SFPD are interested in questioning him about the recent disappearance and suspected murder of Rusty Clown. Likely that Flem and Rusty were working together when Flem was arrested for illegally importing Asian novelty items. Flem may have murdered Rusty to get revenge for letting him take the fall. This theory has been supported. Beak Narrits, who claims to have seen the okay. intoxicated state. Okay. Yeah, Flem. Oh, okay. yeah, this guy rocks. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't Flem. really call that red hair, but that's fine. <laughs> Flem. Okay. All right, print it out. Let's go. Boom. Well, and now what? I want to talk to someone. You want to talk to Flem? I guess we can take the car to Flem? Well, we want to talk to first person we'll see. Let's okay. Say. Let's say the newsstand. Flem! Woo! What can I do for you, Tex? Ask about Mick Flem. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. Well, talk about more. No? Why can't you choose more? <laughs> Is it this? Oh, God. Oh, wow. I think okay. So. Beak Narrates. Oh, yeah. I know Beak. If you want to talk to him, you might try hanging out around Coit Tower. Okay. That's right around the corner. Oh, I remember Rusty. He had a kid show on TV when I was young. I hated the show. That clown makeup oof, always scared me. Okay. She killed him. Yeah. You did it. You killed him because it was scary. And we don't blame you. I'm gonna go to Coit Tower. Nice. I walk up the steps to Coit Tower and spot a small figure <laughs> lurking in the shadows. In the half light, I can see only the person's profile, but it's definitely Beak. As I walk towards him, he glances around, then approaches me warily, like a vegetarian sizing up a pot pie. What? Okay. Interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you met a vegetarian? <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Should we save it? Yeah. Okay. And then insult. Yeah. And then and see what's going on with Beak. I assume Beak has a nose. This is what's going it looks on. Looks like something. Pardon my staring, but that is a truly impressive <laughs> schnoz you've got. Ah, uh, come on. Don't make fun, huh? What do you want? Who are you? What is, I need, okay, I need closer up. Come on. Refer to Chelsea. Oh, it's tough. I'm a friend of Chelsea Bando. Oh, my. 
You told me I could probably find you nosing around up here. Nice. Yes, yeah, nice. yeah. Good Chelsea, good egg, nice look. Uh, so, uh, like an elephant. what do you want? You're just an elephant. Yeah. I am curious about the nose. Oh, nothing. I just wanted to see if your nose is as big as everyone says. What, yes, I've got a joker? Maybe I'll see you around. Oh, come on. You could have been nicer about that, Tex. It's like, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you leave me alone, Mr. Snoopy guy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's make it. Look, don't be snooty, Beak. I'm here to cut you a deal. Nice. Literally. Mm. What does Beak want? It's a good Beak question. Oh, I do know what he wants. Do I have it? Yes. Okay. Think I've, about what he's got. He's got a nose, and he would like a ring toss to play. <laughs> with the, oh, he to wants the nose, the nose job. The nose job. Okay, I can use this. My nose has started sagging lately. Makes it hard to breathe. Now, what kind of info are you looking for? Hmm? And there's some, like, stuff going on with the nose, like, in the game. Like, I think there might be some... Well, it moves. It moves. Like, that's impressive. Oh. Um, ask about McFlam. McFlam's rap sheet would take a day to read. He's a fat scum. See it? And he's an idiot to boot. Oh, and yeah. He's always getting caught. Oh, he's been busted for burglary, mail fraud, arson, you name it. I wonder if there's someone with, like, yanking a string behind the camera. Oh, thank you. Sure. All right, he's always gotten caught. He's been busted for burglary. Uh, everyone, he operates out of the Snow White warehouse, but don't tell him. Okay, that's good info. That's good info. Rook's pawn shop was robbed by a two-bit crook named Mick Flem. He and his girlfriend have knocked off half a dozen pawn shops over the past month. The girl goes to a pawn shop and hawks a bracelet for a decent amount of cash. Then Flem breaks into the pawn shop and steals the bracelet, along with anything else he finds. Mm. Okay. The bracelet is the bait Mick Flem uses for the pawn shop robberies. Okay, kind of just did say that. All right. He lets his wife run the pizza joint. I don't know what he does, though I've heard some things about who he does. <laughs> oh. You can tell he drinks a lot by that snozz of his. Uh huh. I haven't got any info on that. <laughs> She runs that pizza place with her husband, Sal. I don't know much about her. A true Italian nose, though. Good. Okay, he's obsessed yeah. with the noses, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't help you there. Chelsea. Hmm. Smart girl and a real looker to boot. She's got a okay, cute everyone needs to calm nose. Down. Uh-huh. Everybody's got a thing. I haven't got any info on that. All right. How about his nose? Anyone with a hunker like that can't be all bad. Malden's no rocket scientist. But I hear that he's not on the take. I've helped him out a couple of times, so he leaves me alone. All right, should we go to the, um... I'll have a rusty. I think he's dead. <laughs> and I'll bet Mick Flam had something to do with it. Word was the two of them were smuggling illegal novelty items from Hong Kong. And rusty illegal. Illegal. Ever since Rusty disappeared, Flam has had a terrible fear of clowns. Bozophobia. Oh. I once saw Flem pretty drunk, and he said he had nightmares of Rusty's ghost coming back to haunt him from the grave. He was completely terrified. All right, Abby, do I need to go back and get the stuff out of the, to dress up as Rusty? The stuff out of the... I don't think so. Or do I just go to the warehouse? I think we just want to go to the warehouse. Okay. And the, it's saying, save your game here. That's In seems... big, bold letters. Uh -huh. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Might be something we want to listen to. All right, save my game here in big bold letters. Sleazy. Ooh. All right. And then try to go to the warehouse. Yeah. Wait, how can we not go to the warehouse? That seems about to go to the police station. It's on Chandler Ave. Oh. Oh. Okay. Was it this? No, that's the hotel. The Acme Warehouse. Oh, there it is. We have a key. If this is Mick Flem's hangout, he'll probably be back soon. I better try and set some sort of trap for him. Okay. We're gonna... 
Hmm. Locked. Do I have... We've used all our keys. Hmm. There is... Hmm. I'll poison him. Yummy. A bottle of turnip sh Wood here. I've got more steps, my worst enemy. What's this? Ooh. This barrel smells like it shouldn't be opened. It's full of doo-doo. <laughs> yeah, been there. Uh, let's go here. I worry that we're missing something. But it doesn't seem to get it. But there is stuff that you can find in this room. Okay. So maybe it'll become clear. Poke around a little bit. Yeah, there might be stuff on the floor. You got to pick up. Of the building. Oh no, so not the floor. Look down. <laughs> I don't think I'll move any of these pallets because they look like big slivers waiting Ugh, to happen. Gross. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go to the second floor and then look down up there. Okay, great. I can give you more hints. I'm looking at the guide to see if we did miss something. I'm looking at the other guide, oh. essentially. Okay. Oh, gosh. That is no good for my brain. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that is nauseating. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that is bad. All right, going back downstairs. This is a nightmare up there. Swimmy textures. That old piece of plywood doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Can I move a box? I can open the box. Ooh. I've got a fireman's uniform. I can basically be that Great guy. Great smells like lime. Yeah. Okay. So the thing that we're missing yeah. is Rusty Clown Doll. Look oh. And I don't know where... Was that, would it have been that in the was. Rusty's? I don't know. I'm going to... You know, there's a weird thing here where you can duck. <laughs> I don't know why, but you can. Uh, Rusty Clown Doll. I think it might have well, been... This is definitely the most threatened... In Rusty's shop? Um, yeah. Yeah, where else would it be? This one guide says, get plastic dart, crossbow mask, clown doll. So the other guide said nothing with the clown doll, but I'm guessing we just missed it. Yeah, let me run back there. Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, past Chelsea on the right. Can. Err, rusty clown dog. Okay. Bunch of masks. I don't think I ever looked around this side. Maybe. Okay, nothing there. Don't forget to look down. Oh boy. Just a couple of empty old. I can also. Crouch. Whoa. Uh -huh. It's crawling around now. Yeah. It's just text crawling around. Oh god! Oh god! Is it in the boxes? Maybe. Apparently, oh, Rusty yeah. was very fond of empty cardboard boxes. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna assume it's in there. <laughs> I did it. There we go. Okay. okay. I can't get over how lifelike this doll is. If it didn't have a hook on the back and a battery compartment. I'd swear it was Rusty himself. Well, what if I were to combine the battery with the doll? Nice, Finny. Uh-huh. And then I have the doll with it. Wow. <laughs> Whoever animated this, you're fired. All right. Now we go back and set the trap. Now you go back and you go up that the terrible moving floor oh, stairs. Oh, no. Okay. And there should be like a key around. Oh, so look for one pixel that looks different. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Smash right to the wall. You're doing great. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to go in here. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to quickly save it again because we've done all Good that thinking. stuff. Yeah. Uh, save. 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 All right, up the steps. Hold on to your lunch. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, and then stop. And then look down. 
Damn. Should be uh, on the wall, actually. So okay. you can hopefully avoid looking at this awful floor too much. Aha! Uh -huh. Key! Key from the warehouse. Okay, is that the key for the for the uh, you go, breaker boxes? Yeah. You should look up. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Look around up at the ceiling, sort of where the uh, stairs are. I think, like where you are. Oh wait. Oh no. Um, <laughs> like from up on the steps. Oh, yeah, like make look sure. Oh, there we go. That hook looks pretty heavy duty. Okay, you know uh, what? If I put a live rusty doll. Oh yeah. On the hook, that seems like a thing. The rusty oh yeah. Doll is great on the pulley hook, but I'll need to get it to move before it'll do me any good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, we did so. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> That's. Okay. Get good work. There. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. So I'm going to try and go back down the steps. Yeah, good luck. Oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Around the corner, down. Yep, just right there. Oh, wow. Nice. Right. Speed run. I'm going to open up this with the key. Hmm. Locked. Okay. Use the key from the warehouse. This must be the power box. Hmm. Don't forget to Wait. use it. Oh, you're right. Okay. The heavy footsteps I hear must be phlegm. Luckily, Shoot. my rusty trap's all set. I'll need to find a hiding place as close as possible to the pulley control box. When phlegm least expects it, I'll throw the pulley lever and bring Rusty back from the dead. Oh gosh. I can't move this quickly. Dude. Can I not get in here? I think you want to go behind it. Crate smells like laundry soap. Just get Pretty in there. On the okay. I'm going to hide in here. And where do you have to be on the other side? It says behind the crate. <laughs> wait, is it going to come so, in the So, whatever that means. Okay, wait. That's... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, this is how I walk when both my legs fall asleep. <laughs> You can put that sound anywhere. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Oh my god, a brick wall. Nice. That is bad. Why did we do that? <laughs> I guess we got uh, his keys. He said something on the table, I think. Yeah. All right. Because we could. Because we could and we should. Damn, I'm good. This has to be a bracelet. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that the bracelet. And some car keys. All right. Let's go Good give work. it back to Rook and then we'll solve this case and then uh, I assume we'll be done. Yeah, game over. Yeah. Good work. Thank you. What? I'm telling you, it's impossible. It can't be done. Why are we I've in a castle? Everything. I don't know. The prophecy is very clear. We can't go on until this step is completed. Surely your unique skills give you opportunity? My ability has gotten us nowhere. Okay. Capricorn got there before me. They're always one step ahead of me. It's like they can read my mind. We can't let them stop us. Maybe we can use your skills on someone else. I've made inquiries. And if he hasn't gotten himself Never wear killed, white pants. Maybe he's just what we need. No. Murphy. I had one pair of white pants. I think Tex I wore twice, Murphy. maybe. Hmm. I'm not against the idea of white pants, but... <laughs> I, I don't think I can pull it off. <laughs> I think I've only worn white pants when I've tried to dress up like I'm from the 70s. All right, I think we're going <laughs> to... We're going to... I'm going to save it here, and then I'm going to call this chapter, Abby. And we should come okay, back and do good. another one. Um, if you're available. I'm here for it. Okay. I love it. I feel better today than I've felt in a long time. 
Boy, did I stun Rook when I walked in and handed him that bracelet. Okay, so getting the bracelet back doesn't make me detective of the year, but it does stimulate the confidence glands. Maybe I can succeed at this business and turn my career around. But if I'm going to do that, got this, buddy. I better do something about my fax machine. Is he in front of a green screen? How many new in a green screen? I've missed to show the world <laughs> like, of greatness. For a question. All right. Do you think by the end of this game he'll get together with Chelsea? No. I I'm, really. I'm, I'm like we need to resolve the whole my wife left or my wife and I got divorced thing. I'm hoping you know, that, I don't think back together with her. I'm hoping by the end of the game he's like still just a huge loser, you know? Like Yeah, me too. Like never gets the the girl, never gets anything. It's just kind of a big loser. But we still haven't met Margot Kidder yet. Um so I assume that that will be some kind of femme fatale. Oh, sure. But we'll have to wait um, until, well, not next week, but maybe the, the week after. That Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything. He really wants to get with know. this chair, Abby. I'm going <laughs> to give him a, a break for a second. What His wife liked Rudy and he liked the chair. Who are we to judge? Oh, wow. Look at this. Um, look at our points. Um, we're off next week, but maybe the week after? Sure. Check, check your schedule. I, yeah, we'll look later, but tentatively, why not? I, why not? I love it. Thanks, Abby, so much for coming on. I know you're very busy. I appreciate Thank it. You. And so does everybody out there, right? Let's hear it for Abby. Woo! Thank oh, you. You, wow. you can hear it. They're <laughs> screaming in the streets. All right. Thanks, Abby. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back Thank soon. You, See ya.